Hello, welcome to Learning ICT channel. In this video, you learn how to insert a repeat table header on its subsequent pages using different versions of Microsoft Office. When you work with a very long table, it will run across multiple pages. But you can set up the table so that the table header row or rows appear on each page automatically. So for instance, look at this table. It's long in such a way that it goes to the second page. And the second page has no error as the first page. So how to make this second page to have the error automatically? You need now to set it. How to do that? You need to select the header, row or rows that you want to repeat on each page. The selection must include the first row of the table. So for this case, we can select this row by either highlighting the row or by just clicking anywhere in the row. Under the table tools on the layout tab, this one here, data group, click repeat header. So here, repeat header. Once we click on repeat header, it will make this header to appear on the subsequent page or on the additional page as you can see here. And you need to know the following. And once you do any formatting on this first row, the formatting will also appear on the header of each subsequent page. For instance, let's do the formatting of this row. We can just change the text color uh, in the first row. For this case, let's set the text color as red. So, and let's go now to the second page. See the header, it has ready text color. And let's change even the shading. Let's change it to blue and let's go check on the second page you see the same formatting. Alternatively, you can do this direct from the, the row. Let's check how to do it. For this case, let's use another new document and let's insert another table. For this case, we're going to use insert table. Let's provide five, the table with five columns and, uh, and 100 rows. So we have how many pages? We have three pages, so we have subs two subsequent pages. So let's set, this is the header, let's set the heading, serial number. And uh, let's say names. Maybe this is country and this is contact. Signature. So this is our header in this table. And then the alternative way how to, to repeat header in the table, right click in the row that you want to repeat. So for this case, this is the row that we want to repeat in the other subsequent pages. So we're going to right click and then go to table properties. Click, click table properties. In the table properties, dialog box on the row table, select repeat header. So this is the dialog box. We need to select um, repeat as header row at the top of each page. So it will repeat as header row at the top of each page. So, and then we click, okay. Now let's go back and check at the subsequent page. So this page has got the same header and the last page has got the same header. Let's do the formatting for this case. Let's do the shading, change the shading color. For this case, let's provide this color and go check. So you see it has affected all the headers of each subsequent pages. And this is how you can set repeat header on each subsequent page.
and then note the following. Number one, repeated table errors are visible only in print layout view or when you print the document. Number two, if you change a table header on the first page, the header changes on all pages also. You can only modify the table header on the first page. The header rows on subsequent pages are locked. Number three. Although Word automatically repeats table errors on new pages that result from automatic page breaks, it does not repeat a header if you insert a manual page break within a table. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.